Okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a loading bar or progress bar as many of you guys call it um, in C sharp but in console. Um, it's not that long um, and it's really simple. You can When you start understanding the code more you will be able to change it better to your liking but I'm just going to do it this way. Um, I'm just going to add a title. And now for this I want to make sure that the um, the cursor when the progress bar is actually loading I want to make sure that the cursor is invisible so that's why we had it set to false um, now we need to set the cursor position to 1 out of 1 and this will basically just make it so that you can't accidentally move it and mess anything up um, because if you did then it would probably just crash the entire thing so now we're going to do a for loop and we're going to make integers um, we'll just do I don't know I did it twice I little zero and then we can do uh, I, got, I guess we're going to do 50 um, this number right here is um, how high the progress bar will go to before it continues whatever the next thing is that you have in. Um, so you could change it to 100 if you wanted to or you know whatever you want to. Um, then I++ is basically just increasing the value of I making the actual bar itself increase. Um, so now we need another one. And do Y. 0 and then if Y is greater than I. I and then y plus plus now all this is doing is checking because we will have the symbol here um, or like the random text that you want here um, for it so say you wanted to add like an emoji for whatever reason add your progress bar then basically all this is doing is first of all creating the int y and then it's saying that if y is less than um, the actual progress bar itself then it's going to actually increase with it um, so these two will basically match up um, just about now we're going to make a string and we will just call this I don't know pb or progress bar and we're just going to make a little icon um, well not much of an icon but And then all we have to do is make sure that we're having the console puts whatever we have here. So right, and then PB. So now you can put anything like here. Like honestly, you don't even need to do this. Like if you want to, you could just do like console right, and then like whatever you wanted. Um, like you, you don't have to do it this way but this way will give you a better looking progress bar um, now that we're done with that we can come over here and we have to make sure that the console is actually writing the output of i um, which is the progress bar and since we have it up to 50 we will do 50 now this is basically just an indicator saying like what out of what so if it's like 1 out of 50 for example then it will show um, on it so now that we have this we can set the cursor position uh, back to one out of one and then we're going to set the console dot foreground color equals console color and you can do whatever I'm gonna do red because why not um, and then we have to do a system threading obviously because we need to make sure we have the speed of the progress bar um, so uh, however fast you want the progress bar to actually load um, you can do it so 
if you want it slower then it will be higher if you want it faster then it will be lower um, since 50 is everything we'll just do 50 um, and then to just finish this out we'll just read the line you don't really have to but I mean everything if you want it to work for after me now if we just go ahead in here and press F5 and here's our progress bar it's pretty simple and however it stops at 49 um, but that's fine doesn't matter because by the time it gets to 50 anyways it should just automatically open up another application so doesn't really matter um, so yeah so if you want to change the color or anything it's right here um, this one you know changes the speed of the um, the progress bar how fast it loads so if I were to do like <laughs> one for whatever odd reason just press F5 and then there you see it's going way faster than what it was if it had 50 um, again if you change this just make sure you change this and then you can obviously change this to whatever you want um, the indicator to be for your progress bar um, so besides for that that's pretty much all for this video it's really easy to set up um, if you have any questions um, just comment down below and if you'd like to see anything specific or have any request on me making things just comment down below I always check the comments and usually make anything that someone requests um, however if it is a cheat I will not um, just because I do not associate with cheats so if it's something actually educational and that could benefit you in a nice positive way then sure I will make it um, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.